everyone, welcome back to my fishing life. As you can see, we're down here at the beach. Finally, uh, got a chance to make it down here to the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're gonna stay here for a couple days. We're gonna do some whole bunch of surf fishing, uh, probably some pier fishing, and uh, definitely try some jetty fishing. But yeah, uh, yeah, this is actually really, really exciting because uh, I've been I've been craving for surf fishing for a long time. I haven't really got a chance to get into it, but uh, definitely it's a change of pace for sure. Um, I feel very comfortable out here though. Um, I did bring some raw shrimp and they have some uh, frozen, uh, I believe frozen mullet that we can use. But uh, we got here late in the afternoon. We got probably about maybe three hours of sunlight left. Uh, so we just kind of try to cast it out and see uh, what we can catch here pretty quick. Uh, looks like it's pretty low tide right now. As you can see, we're at the area where it's not too crowded, so that's good. So we're gonna set it up and uh, yeah, hopefully get some fish right off the surf. Let's go. All right guys, I'm gonna, I just gotta set it up. Um, this is just a classic surf uh, rig, basically a high-low rig with uh, three ounce pyramid sink at the bottom sitting on two hook. Uh, the hooks are, I believe, is number two, and the leader is about three feet. So this will be a good start, just an indicator to what kind of fish is out there. And uh, yeah, since we're actually losing some daylight, so we try to get in the water to see what's biting, and uh, you know, we'll adapt, and uh, we'll see, uh, we'll make some uh, adjustment later on. So first cast. Extremely low tide right now, um, so really you got to get in the water to kind of, you know, try to get some uh, some distance. Oh, I think. Oh, the one on the right here just got. Yeah. Yeah. So this one's on the shrimp. I might just have to go for it. Oh, I think we might be on. Yeah. You didn't think you'll get catfish out here, did you? This is considered uh, kind of like a saltwater catfish. They're considered hardhead. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I came down to the Gulf so I could avoid catching catfish, and of course the first one I catch is a catfish. <laughs> yeah, I came down to the Gulf to catch some catfish. This is considered saltwater catfish. They call it hard, hardhead or hard, yeah, I think that's what it is. But it is saltwater catfish. I'm going to throw this guy back. All right, buddy. I love catfish, but I don't want to see it down here. All right, go. Catch you later. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think the left one. I might have a bite. Yep. So this one's on the mullet. I think we're on. We're on. Yeah. It's definitely biting. Ah, it got off. It took the chunk. It took the chunk of the mullet. Ah. Oh, okay. 
making a nice little swimming pool for her hermit crab. Um, actually, the goal for this trip is to actually catch some pompanos. And I'll try to get that on the surf, and I know a lot of people have been catching up out here. So hopefully, we can catch some pompano on the surf. Um, there's definitely some speckled trout out here too. Uh, I would love to get into uh, maybe some big full cool red. Um, maybe we'll, we'll we'll do some research today. Uh, well, later today to see uh, you know where some bites are are happening right now around the area. Yeah. So far, we got that one tiny catfish. I know, I can't seem to avoid some catfish. Even I'm down here in the ocean, I do catch him. But hopefully that's the only catfish I'll catch uh, for the rest of the trip. And uh, yeah, from now on, it's just, uh, you know, try to tackle some different species. There you go. Better fish right here. This is much better. I was getting bites, you know, just a bunch of small ones, but finally this actually feels pretty good. Different species. Not a catfish. Uh, this is actually bigger size. Here we are, folks. Another catfish. All right, second fish here in the Gulf of Mexico. Another catfish. <laughs> I have a toss this guy back. Man, I have to say, there's like a, a pecking order of fish. Catfish got to be in the top five. I mean, these fish are everywhere. Salt water, fresh water, it doesn't matter. They just survive, man. All right, that's later, buddy. Here you go. Catfish down the gulf. So it's about 6 a.m. right now. Uh, I just got everything set up. I was, uh, was actually able to get out here before um, before some daylight. So um, yeah, yesterday was really rough. Um, ended up catching two catfish, uh, which was okay. But, you know, you kind of want to catch more different fish today. But I managed to get two rods set up, and I brought this rod right here, and this one right here is set up on this uh, artificial lure right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, you know, cast it out and see if we can catch some fish on top water. And yesterday, um, after dinner, we were able to kind of walk around this fishing pier, man. I swear to God, this fishing pier was the busiest fishing pier I've ever been to. And that kind of changed my mind if I, you know, about fishing at night. Um, I was thinking about it, and I was just going some tour and you can kind of see in the video, there's got to be hundreds of people are out there last night, um, lines everywhere. And everybody was using basically the same type of bait, which is live shrimp or raw shrimp. And, and from what I was getting, um, the information from all the fishermen up there, not many catches. And, if they catch anything, it was the hard head catfish. So, 
it didn't make me feel so bad um, after after walking down the pier last night. Uh, just know that I, yeah, I did catch the fish. So hopefully today, uh, since we're out here a little bit uh, before the sunrise, uh, you know, we'll catch some big fish. Um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, I'm about to toss this rod out. Um, this one's on a, a cut bait. I had some leftover mullet yesterday, so we cast this out. And the other one is on the, uh, the shrimp. I still have some leftover. All right, here we go. Man, it feels so good to be out here. The water feels so nice. Whew. All right, so while both our odds are actually sitting out there, I'm gonna uh, take you guys out here in the ocean with me, uh, do some casting. Can we cast some fish? Yeah, I was actually really surprised that nobody on the pier was catching anything yesterday at all. And, um, some of those guys, they're saying like, this is really unusual. But you know, the pier fishing, um, they actually charge you like, I think $15 an hour. Actually $15 for a whole day for a boat to fish which is a really expensive amount. And especially if you pay that much, you kind of want to, kind of want to catch some fish, but when you don't, it's kind of become a, you know, I'm sure it was frustrating for a lot of fishermen out there. Uh, me personally, I prefer this kind of fishing. Um, I'm out here this morning, you kind of see to my right, to my left, there's nobody at all. And I could kind of see um, my two rods right now. Um, I already got several bites from the small hard head catfish. Yeah, man, they're still around this morning. So hopefully um, some bigger ones will come around here and play. And also last night, uh, something about the full moon, it was just extremely low tide last night. Uh, I'm not sure why, but. Usually the full moon, it's either, it's a hit and miss. Uh, a lot of people have before, you know, they prefer fishing on full moon. Some people don't. Me personally, um, I have experience both good and bad fishing during the full moon. Obviously yesterday it wasn't ideal for a lot of these fishermen out there. Yeah, I had to go, go back and grab my surf rod and uh, yep, I suspected the small catfish uh, went through my entire shrimp. So I just attached two new ones to cast it out. Uh, so the thing I enjoy most about surf fishing is actually getting wet. <laughs> um, definitely have to either wear your waders or in my case, swimming trunks. And uh, yeah, just wanna go out here around knee deep. Um, I wear sandals or sometimes you wear those water um, water shoes because uh, depends on where you are it might be some jellyfish or stingray but I didn't see any of those at this uh, place so they will might be in good shape here all right let's walk a little further down here shall we and that's the thing with the uh, surf fishing is uh, you gotta try to find a nice little hole that all these fish kind of bundle up and school and just want to hang around. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a big thump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, did he go? Oh, oh. No, no, let's do one. Yeah, I was, I was just casting. 
playing with the other one. Whoa, with the casting back and forth. And I turned around and I saw this one. Took a big dive. Oh, yeah, it's just a big catfish. <laughs> hey, but you know what? It pulls pretty hard. So, there you go. Another one of these hard hair, hard head catfish. I'll toss this guy right back. Uh, catfish. Catfish? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Saltwater catfish. Hmm. Alright, buddy. Catch you later. I don't want to see you, man. It's actually pretty cool to see uh, there's so many activity down here. I can see a bunch of fishermen down that side. Um, but of course, there's a bunch of people out here jogging this, this morning. Such a beautiful morning. I'm uh, just so grateful to be out here, man. Just for something about being in the ocean. Yeah. I mean, I enjoy, uh, you know, lake fishing, but it's definitely a good change of scenery. Oh, yeah, the big bite. Yeah. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Yep, yep, yep. Here we go. Yep. Come on. It's fighting pretty hard, but it could be. Never know now, man. I don't want to see another hard head. They're actually pretty cool to catch. They're fun. Ah! Yep, another hard head catfish. Yeah, this one's actually a really good size. Look at that. Oh, look at how greedy this guy is. He's got two hooks on. Man. <laughs> this guy. That means he went and grabbed one of my cut bait and said, you know what the hell with that? I'm going to grab the other one too. Look at this guy. Two hooks. <laughs> there you go. Hardhead catfish down here in the Gulf. I like catching you, man. But maybe not down here. All right. Catch you later, my friend. All right, folks. I think we're going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Uh, it's been a very awesome uh, fishing experience uh, from late afternoon when we got here and, and also this morning for several hours yeah those hard head catfish man i don't know what it is these catfish they just love to follow my fishing life around but hey we're definitely gonna try to get into a different species this trip um, hopefully later today or if not you know tomorrow but I'm going to check with the local bait shop to try to get some inside information. Uh, hopefully those guys are nice enough to share their secrets because they, they've been fishing in these water for years and some of them I'm pretty sure have been fishing all year round. So maybe something that I'm using that's not working for other species or maybe right now all they have here is hardhead catfish. It just seems like that's all they have out here. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely um, going to be a challenge, but I'm excited to, to see what's out here. Um, like I mentioned before, I think we're gonna try the jetty, which is about an hour west of where we are right now. And that jetty goes out pretty deep, so hopefully, you know, we could get out there deep enough where these catfish don't follow us. So yeah, we're definitely gonna try that jetty later and maybe some other beaches. But, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this beach right now. And yeah, you know, these hardhead catfish, um, yeah, they could go ahead and uh, pick on some other fishermen. But hey, regardless, uh, it's been fun. Um, anytime you get on the fish, it's fun. So I can't complain about that. I appreciate uh, everybody who's watching the channel. Um, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification, and leave a thumbs up. Definitely gonna record more content about our trip here in the Gulf of Mexico, so stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.